Hey Gemini's, welcome, welcome back. This is your reading. We're gonna see what's going on with you. All right. Um, we do have the song part two on the run by Jay-Z and Beyonce playing. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into this energy here. This is a general reading. All right, anything you need to know about me is all down below here, you guys. It is early in the morning. I have my fro underneath my hood, all right. But I just told like I had to come in here and give y'all a message. All right, go ahead and like this video, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and get right into this, y'all. All right, right before I do my wash day. All right, we're going to go ahead and see what's going on with y'all. First things first, I am going to get you guys Cannabis Oracle, okay? We're going to go ahead and get you some Cannabis Oracle cards here and get three messages here for you guys before we start into this, okay? So, let's go ahead and get some cards here for you, Gemini. There's one. All right. Let's get some cards here for the Gemini spirit, all right? Wow, I'm getting like nostalgic feelings here in this song. I love this. All right, let's get one last card. Thank you. All right. Ooh, Gemini, I love this song. Comment down below if you've ever heard this song before. All right, I know Beyonce's a Virgo and I believe uh, Jay-Z is a Sagittarius. All right, but the first card we have is a magician card here. So this is Blue Dream, all right? This is a hyper strain. It says it's time to create the life that you want for yourself. You have what it takes. Use your intellect, skills, and talents to get you active or achieve what you want, okay? The next card I have out here is the Wheel of Fortune. A wonderful card to get in unison with the Blue Dream. This is the Super Lemon Haze, all right? And it says, Wheel of Fortune. Changes in the air. Don't stop the movement. Decide the direction that you want to go, okay? Last but not least, we have Pink Lemonade here. All right, somebody may like Pink Lemonade, but this is the strange. This is a star card. Aquarius, all right, another air sign. But it says, there is hope and new inspiration coming. Stay calm and enjoy the spark. Okay, somebody could be smoking here. Comment your favorite strain or your comment your favorite um, one out of these three if you ever tried them before, all right? And I want you guys to know that um, Super Lemon Haze is actually a sativa, all right? I've had uh, um, two of these. I've never had Pink Lemonade before, guys, but we're going to go ahead and get right into this, okay? So now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and go into the What's Brewing Up deck here. We're going to go ahead and get you guys four cards. I heard five. So let's do five instead, okay? We're going to get you five cards here, Gemini. All right, we're going to go ahead and see what's coming up, what's the tea, what's brewing up, all right, and what you need to know. All right. I believe Tupac the Gemini. Correct me if I'm wrong, all right? All right. Ooh, okay. i seen that card, all right? All right. So, Gemini, the first card I have out here is under spiritual attack. You could definitely be under spiritual attack. I uh, can't even talk, y'all. That's how I know you guys are under spiritual attack. All right. It could be the way you talk, the way you walk. All right. Oh, I'm getting like, you could just tell that you're under spiritual attack here. All right. I just heard Jay Z say, I'm going to raise this test. I'm going to pass this test. I'm going to geek about mine. Right. Somebody could definitely be smoking. You need to be careful what you're smoking on. I'm hearing like you're you're being gifted smoke. Okay. They want to gas. You're, you got smoke. Okay. You want to gas. You got smoke here for somebody. All right. Or somebody could feel this way about you or vice versa. But I do say that you're under spiritual attack. It says fighting off negative energies, fighting spiritual warfare. You need to cleanse your energy. All right. So cleanse your energy here, guys. Take a spiritual bath. All right. Go ahead and um burn your candles. Make sure you're wearing your protection jewelry here, doing your magic, all that good stuff. All right. Returning to sender, all that good stuff if you do want to purchase a uh, back it up and reverse the candle i do have about two of those left all right you can go ahead and look at my store down below okay or get your protection jewelry like your black obsidian your tourmalines all that good jazz sodialite and lapis lazuli all right yeah, with someone that's a snake around you, it could be a female or a male. All right, for some of you guys, see I'm seeing you could definitely be breaking up, um, going through a divorce here, or going through um separation period, all right? Take it how it resonates for you, all right? And it's so funny, I just heard um Jay-Z say, if I go to if you go to heaven and I um go to hell, just you got to make me bring a box of ale. Somebody could like ginger ale, drink this a lot here, or elder does, man, want to put that on your um altar. Like, I'm getting... Yeah, that's what's going on. You could definitely be in separation, take a hot run. But somebody is running away from you guys here as well. You could definitely be the runner, all right? She's a runner. She's a track star. They go run away when they get caught. Or this could be you. Take it how it resonates. Or somebody could be running towards you guys. We also have the sports games, okay, or sports. Somebody could be playing games with you guys or playing in energy. Or like I said, you could definitely be, how do you say, um, watching sports here or watching TV. Could definitely be um, indulging or being a couch potato. I'm getting, how do you say, uh, somebody's playing good in energy. All right, somebody's playing you for a fool or playing you like a PlayStation or a TV, all right? Somebody can have an LG TV, they may not have to, but all in all, I have talked about your issues here. So if you are a female, maybe go get your nails done or have a girl talk with your girls, your females, whoever. Or if you're a masculine here, all right, you may need to, how do you say, um, vent to your homeboys, your, your, or your, like your home girl, okay, or whatever, your family or whatever's going on here. You may need to talk about your issues here. Go get therapy, all right? But those are different things here. That's the T here. That's what's going on, all right? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put these cards back up here for you guys. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and 
put them all over here all right so we can go back into those later if we need to but now we're going to go ahead and go into the kipper deck here i'm going to go ahead and get you guys five cards here so let's get the Gemini five cards, the Geminians, Gemini. Comment down below, um, all right? If you're loving this, vi this video, the vibe, all that good jazz, all right? If you are wondering why I always stutter, I have a Mercury and Mars and Pisces, all right? So that's why I'm always stuttering, okay? Um, Yeah. All right, but let's go ahead and get you guys some cards here, Geminis. All right, the first card I have out here is the number 11. It talks about sudden wealth, prosperity, um, generational wealth, longevity. Okay, 777, you could be seeing that here. All right, it's funny because the same card came out for Aquarius. All right. All right, so Gemini, let's see what we have going on here for y'all. Okay, so we have the occupation card, which is the number 34 here. It could be something that you're doing for work here or whatever you're putting your energy into. This could be at work, a project, or something that you have going on here, all right? Yeah, yeah. And I have the song, You, but playing by Lloyd, all right? All right? I love this song. Let's go ahead and get right into this. And somebody can also comment his a zodiac sign if they would love to. But I have a change here. This type of change is going on that the workplace or change is going on around you. You could be moving or moving on up or ascending here. Let's go ahead and get two more cards. We also have the number 23 card. This is talking about courthouse here. Courthouse legal things, jobs, and things that um have contracts. All right. Agreements. And I have the number five mature man. All right, you can be a mature man or there's one in your life. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have a message of concern. So Gemini, somebody has a message of concern here, but I'm getting they're trying to keep you off your journey here. This person is a thief here. They're a trickster or the hustle, but I'm thinking like they come off good or they act like they mean well, or I'm thinking like they have they could have possibly have money. Take so it how it resonates. Whoever this person is, I'm thinking like they're dealing with a privileged lady here. I'm thinking like they're dealing, dealing with your privileged lady here, or somebody that you've dealt with before here, or somebody that you know. All right, but they have nothing to say about you. Um, they have negative message, or they're about to say a negative message to you here, or have some smart shit to say, or whatever. But and then we have your card after that, the lover's energy. Somebody could also be um in the middle of your love relationship here. I'm hearing um in the way of your union here, that could be that person. I have toil and labor in reverse here. This person could have lost their job or could be losing their mind here. I'm getting like whatever they put their energy into, whatever they put their toil and labor into, they're losing it. All right. Yeah, Jim and I'm getting like it's all about you right now. All right. Yeah, also, I'm getting like somebody could definitely be concerned about you. Could be an elder or mother or somebody who is um, of age here. I'm, I'm hearing a um, maternal or paternal figure here. They're concerned about you here. Also, something going on own in the house here. All right. But I'm going to go ahead and put those back here for you guys, Jim and I. All right. Yeah. Then I'm going to go ahead and clarify these. We have the numbers 11, 34, 9, 23, and 5 here. These could be a significance for anybody, all right? Take them how they resonate, all right? But now we're going to go in and clarify these, all right? We're going to use my purple deck. Where is it, all right? Oh, it's actually right behind the camera. Darn it. Here it is. Hold on, you guys. Here it is. Okay. So now we're going to go into here, all right, and clarify these certain cards, all right, a couple times. We're going to get into this first, the truth rising, and then what's the news, all right? So we're going to get the energy the truth all right and the news okay extra extra read all about it all right message message all right yeah so let's go ahead and get right into this here gemini's all right so let's see what's going on with your sudden wealth here all right or your blessings or whatever's coming towards you all right that is wealthy i'm here abundance prosperity all right that kind of energy i'm here like also this can be something that you um been manifesting this coming to fruition but it has sudden wealth here the number 11 somebody can have a 7 11 by where they live at where they're from but let's get into this here for you guys, Gemini's. All right, so let's see what's going on with this number 11 card. All right. All right. So basically, I have spirit of elixirs here. So I'm getting like at this time here, you may need to cut back from smoking or drinking here to get this sudden wolf. I'm getting like, in order to go on this path, like this blessing here, you need to cut back on smoking and drinking. Or somebody who will be smoking and drinking a lot, who has a lot of addictions here, they're in your pathway, trying to stop you from getting the sudden wolf. All right. Also, that's the clarity of words. The truth could be another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right. Oh, I'm getting like there's some type of truth and clarity. That's the, that's what it is. Are you gonna get it from that person? Okay. Or are you gonna get the clarity on their um motives? All right. Let's get another card. You have two more cards here. Also, I'm getting like your divine feminine right now if you are trying to come into union i'm feeling like you're going to do that with them i'm feeling like whoever your divine feminine is i'm feeling like they've learned a lesson here they're um buried across the beat of all here they could have been um a lesson to you all right because i'm getting like that or they're a part of your journey here you guys are supposed to get this setting wealth together for somebody there or there could be a divine feminine here who's trying to give you this wealth here or come together with you okay i'm feeling like you're attracting them if you're a man or a female or you know if you're a divine feminine here you're going to be learning a lesson here all right going through um I'm hearing a, um, you know how they have the 90 day phases at a job here. I forgot what it's called, a trial phase, or I'm hearing probate phase. I, I think I'm saying the right word, all right? But that's what's going on here. I'm getting like, with this sudden welfare, there's going to be some type of truth and clarity that comes out, and this might going to learn a lesson, and then boom, you're going to get it or meet your feminine here, all right? Or masking, however you want to do it, all right? But we have the number 34 here, it talks about occupation or your job, all right, y'all? 
Yeah, let me hurry up and do this so I can go get my nails done. All right, but we have the number 34, y'all. All right, let's see what's going on with this. All right, what's going on with this number 34 for the Gemini's here? All right, oh shit. All right. So first things first, Gemini's, I'm getting like, also, um, if you're at work here, people could feel like you're a gift here. You have some type of spiritual gift or you're just a gift. You're very generous here. You're very assistive. You help people. I'm getting like, your energy speaks for itself. Or you could definitely be a little bit quiet here and you give off a St. Nicholas energy here where um, it's like you're there and you're not. I'm getting like, you're very elusive here. I'm hearing brown recluse spider. You could be seeing spiders here. That's your spirit guide. Also, we have spirit of the swans here. People could be trying to mimic you or try to um, figure you out here where you work. I'm getting like, with your occupation, they're trying to figure it out or mimic you. All right, but I'm getting like, um, people know i'm getting like people trying to steal your sauce people know it's yours okay yeah i'm getting like your grace your elegance your poise how you walk how you talk all that good stuff i'm getting like you're creating a name for yourself here keep going i'm getting like whatever you're doing at work here, people are loving this or whatever you're working on people are loving this here all right also i'm getting with the spirit of the more i'm getting also you need to be defensive here around people who claim they love you have love for you or whatever because i'm getting like they want to size you up and steal your sauce or whatever but be careful who you're telling your energy to or telling your secrets or whatever too at the time you to be calm cool and relaxed i'm getting like you get off this calm cool and collect um relax um energy okay 11 11 on the time stamp here all right mm -hmm. but i have the number nine here to talk about changes let's see what kind of changes we have coming up for you or what's going on the changes here okay the number nine somebody could be moving here somebody could live in an apartment or like i said you have a new car new job you're moving in with somebody or whatever all right, but your whole life about to change here. All right, yes, yeah, spirit of the gold here. You about to get wealth status and windfall for somebody here. All right, for others, you I'm getting like you need to learn how to um um I'm hearing like tame yourself or tame your ego, your temptations here. All right, to so actually get this, I'm getting like to see a certain positive change that we need to be doing here. All right. Also, I'm getting like the spirit of the key. You're learning a spiritual lesson here. You're gaining wisdom. And you're gaining knowledge here. All right, those are the changes that you need to be making or that is going to be made here by the end of the year. Whenever you see this, it resonates for you. All right, and then you're gonna get a love offer after that. I just seen that. All right. But also, I'm seeing like you need to ex somebody out who's wearing a mask on you or they have an illness here or I'm getting like they're toxic here or they're melancholy or they're depressed. They're always negative. I'm getting Nelly. I'm hearing a negative Nancy, or negative Nelly, okay? X them out 12 12 on a timestamp when I seen that, okay? Yeah. Also, we have differences playing by genuine, but we have the number 23. I'm getting somebody may not be genuine to you, okay? Or genuine, okay? A 923 is a number of significance for somebody here. But anyways, with this courthouse or with these court um things or whatever type of um how do you say contract com commitment or promise here, all right. Y'all have spirit of the water. See, I'm getting like you need to um cleanse your energy of anybody who has court cases, any type of turmoil, any type of I'm hearing um setbacks here. Cleanse your energy of them. I'm getting like you need to heal from these or heal from any trauma that you've had going on, the criticism or whatever you have going on here. I'm getting like your emotions play a uh, um a very important role here in you're hearing your authenticity or in your life here, okay? Yeah, also, I'm here for the commitment here. So I'm getting like, also, you could be going in or doing something here or getting some type of um, a contract, a promise, commitment, or getting divorced or have a court case with somebody you love or something like that. Or I'm getting it's going to go well. Or I'm getting like, also, um, you're going to meet somebody there, possibly. A love letter, text, email, phone call. It's trying to reach out to you. And they have a lot of shit going on, like court cases, or they have a new job or something going on with their job or some type of contract, promise, commitment here. Something that is stable here. I'm getting some type of law abiding um, agreement, okay? Also, I'm getting like just somebody who's envious of you and they want you locked up here. All right, I'm getting like they're locked up, or they're going to jail here. Whoever it is is planning your energy or wearing a mask. They could actually wear one on um Halloween. All right, I'm getting you have some type of bad news coming from the court system. Or I'm getting your you don't want to hear about this, but I'm getting it's not going to come here if you make the right, right um, moves here. But I'm getting even if it does, it's a part of the process, but it's not going to be negative. But just be careful of um, public transits and what you're doing in public here. Somebody's waiting for you to fuck up here, fuck something up here. All right, to get you caught up. I'm here in the public eye. We have the number five here that talks about changes, but this mature man. Let's see what's going on with this mature man here for you, Gemini. All right. For well, this mature man, is I'm getting like they're at a crossroads here. This could be you if you're a man here, you're mature, whatever. Yeah, I'm getting like this person could definitely live at home with their parents. There's something about their home structure and foundation here that at a crossroads to see which way they're going to go. All right. First could have been around, I've been around the world, or you have. All in all, I have spirit of the cat here. I'm getting this person here. The reason is the cat. I'm getting curious to kills the cat here. First you need to learn how to be independent here, or you do. I'm getting like they're trying to teach you how to be independent here. Or they're at a crossroads here. You're doing this to them, okay? Yeah. Let's get another card here. Also, I'm getting like it's gonna be a tower moment. Who this mature man is? They're gonna have a tower moment here. Some type of shift, surprise, a big change here in their life here. All right. 
Yeah, but I'm getting it's because this person wanna keep you frozen, delayed, or lonely here, or vice versa, or whatever's going on here. Alright, this person has a lot of um tricks here. They're very cutting, they're very sloppy, you know, like they feel like they have the one up or they're swiping no swiper. They're always trying to steal from you, whether it be monetarily, physically, spiritually, energetically. Alright, this person is not who they think they are. And also I'm getting like this mature man here. They wanna um create a union with you. If, even if it's not like like love wise, alright, they wanna create a union or I'm getting one type of I'm hearing like team, I'm hearing like dream team or something like that with you last card yeah i'm getting this is a test or offer temptation but this person could be a fire sign it reveals out of terry they have in your chart their chart okay like i said this person here they're trying to spark something up with you to see if you'll fall for the test or the temptation all right for their and they have a demon spirit here i'm getting like this person here needs to focus on their shadow self here focus on their fears here all right i'm getting like they're very fearful they can't do things on their own also i'm getting like you're going towards how do you say a new beginning here a new dawn or a new beginning period somebody's talking shit your rivals here i'm mad as fuck about it all right whoever your rivals are the elephant in the room or they're about to be the elephant in the room here here, all right i'm getting like they also could try to lock you away or i'm hearing like keep you out of public eye i'm hearing like stop things and put things on like, your track here all right for some of these people who are talking shit they could have you have slept with them i'm getting like they just want to sleep with you i'm getting like they're just hoes all right but somebody could definitely um give you a, a tragic romance so you have one with them all right they're talking shit too or they're your rival or whatever all right but they're, they're all going to be shocked here they're all going to be shocked here um your ancestors give you what you want. I'm hearing your ancestors put you in union here to give you exactly what you want here when you meet your soulmate or whatever. I'm getting like cycles are ending for a reason here. All right, people want to want to control you, leave you submissive and empty. But also, I'm seeing on your new beginning here, you may meet your masculine if you're feminine here, or if you're feminine if your masculine. Take it how it resonates here. All right, but this type of disruption here that's going to come. It's going to be temporary. It's going to wipe away everything that was temporary. It'll wipe away any type of spells here, and you're going to be able to manifest or transmute this bullshit here and travel, move on, move forward, ascend. All right, yeah, because you have the upper hand, or you will have the upper hand here, and everything's going to be a little foggy at first, and then boom you're gonna meet your personal commitment i mean you're gonna win by any means you're gonna win the war here okay yep mm -hmm. so i'm gonna go ahead and pick up these cards here for you guys you're not and then i have the song real love playing by future and young thug okay i really like this song it gives me chills all right but now we're gonna go into the truth rising day to get the truth all right All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put these up here. Now we're going to go into the true rising deck here for you, uh, Gemini. All righty. So let's get to this number 11 card here with the sudden wealth here, Gemini. Let's see what's going on with this sudden wealth, the number 11. Let's see what the truth is or what's going on, what's blocking it, what's going on. So there's a diva here who's tapping into your energy, all right, who wants the sudden wealth here. Whoever this diva is, I'm getting like she's planning a secret escape either to come towards you to get this sudden wealth. This could be your divine feminine if you're masculine here or vice versa. You know, a diva is a female version of a hustle. So they could be Aries here, all right? All right. Or oh, you have Aries in your chart. It's not have to be. Let's see what else is going on with this sudden wealth, all right? Also, there's a prideful person here. They feel like you're a prideful person. Somebody feel like you're a prideful person here, Gemini's, and they're trying to come and lustfully um, drain you here of everything that you have. Or I'm making like offer you sex, or offer you something that is lustful. I'm getting of the 3D here, all right, to steal this great fortune wealth from you. I'm getting their, their intentions to do this here. Be careful of that, all right. For us of you, let's see what else is going on here. I'm getting like there's a psycho man here, but they're coming towards you guys because this is what they want. I'm getting like they want to get in while they're getting this good. I'm here after that, preserve that shit. Yeah, smudge your energy from this um, masculine here, cleanse your phone, your house, all that good stuff here. These people are coming towards you because they know you're about to come to sudden wealth here or they can smell it on you. You know how people know your blessings or know who you are, know what you're about here before you even know. It's giving that, okay, Gemini? Yeah, we have occupation. Could be something that you're doing for work or whatever you're putting your energy into, but we have the number 34, okay? Not 33, but 34. So let's see what's going on here, Gemini's. I'm getting like, also, there's somebody here who you could have worked with here. I'm getting like, they're admiring your work or they love your work or whatever here. Or things that they probably didn't work out with you guys, all right? You put a lot of energy into this. Who this person is, they view you as a hustler here. They could be a hustler, masculine or feminine. But they want a second chance with you guys here. You may want a second chance with them. But I'm getting like, they stopped dealing with you over some fake ass news here. I'm getting like, they're trying to spread fake ass news. Or I'm getting like, after they're done with that, they want to be around you. But they need to prepare for what's about to come up. They need to prepare for this, okay? 1919 on the timestamp, all right? For us with you, let's see what's going on with this occupation card, all right? Also, I'm getting like, you're leveling up, you're moving forward here. But you may be, um, I'm hearing single out here, you need a long time here, okay? Well, Virgo could definitely be, I'm um, having a long time, or I'm hearing aha moments here after they realize you're, um, 
Love feeling up here. This person was very judgmental and they broke a promise with you here. Or they were about to, all right? But all in all, I'm thinking like you have to gamble, take a risk here at your job or something like that. I'm thinking like there's somebody here who does not want to be seen or visibly. I'm getting like in the public eye, this could be you. But somebody's gambling here or they like to gamble here or drink a lot. Whoever this person is, uh, Gemini, I'm thinking like they're a hot mess and always got some shit going on. They're trying to stop you in your path and stop you at your occupation at work or trying to create a, I'm here, an obstacle for you here. I'm getting like they want your work here. Or they're trying to talk shit about it. This person is very fucking bipolar, okay? Take it how it resonates, all right? I just heard Future say it had to be the destiny, it had to be the recipe, all right? Whatever you're working on, you got the recipe, all right? I'm mean, like, you got the sauce, people trying to steal it, take it wherever. I got chills even just saying that from my head to my toes, y'all, all right? Yeah, I have the number nine. Let's talk about changes here. Let's see what type of changes we have going on, changes you need to make, or what's coming around you, all right? Changes, okay? So somebody's a catfish here, all right? They're not who they say they are, but you're going to figure out who this person is, all right? Yeah. Well, this person is with a fucking catfish. They made a bad deal against you. Or they could have made a bad deal. This could be somebody you were dating or not. Or somebody you were dealing with here. But they, like they realized the grass is not greener. Or I'm getting like, the, they're trying to get while the getting is good. But I'm getting like, the getting wasn't even that good. Okay? Yeah. It's a change here. This could be you. Let's see what's going on. These changes are going on around you. All right? Also, I'm getting like, somebody tried to set you up here. But now they're crying for help here. They're going to be crying for help. Because this person is crazy here. They go to the extremes. They're either crazy or they will be crazy. But they're crying for help here. But they're trying to set you up here. And now I'm getting like, it backfired on them. Or somebody set them up. I'm getting like, whatever they wish on you is going back to them. Okay? Also, there's somebody here who's obsessed with you. There's going to be a change here with this person. But what's the change? Is somebody obsessed with you guys here? I'm getting they always have the guard up here. Or you do. All right? Well, this is who's obsessed with you, like they burned out here. They can feel like you're burned out with them, or vice versa. They're burned out. I'm getting like they just want to, I'm here, like come up to you, all right? And then we do have the song playing called Kill Before. Everybody knows you've been killed before here, Gemini, but you still get back up, all right? Also, I'm getting like somebody here with a um, happy relationship with you after they've emotionally abused you, or you emotionally abused them. All right, whoever this person, they're, they're not materialistic here, but you may be, or vice versa. But I'm you broke free from them, or you broke free from the sexual, strictly sexual um, connection, or you need to, to go towards this happy relationship. Take it how it resonates, okay? Those are Changes going on around you, okay? Or somebody could have been dealing with somebody here now they're moving towards you here, Gemini. We have the number 23. We'll talk about courthouse here. Let's see what's going on with this courthouse, all right? Yeah, let's see what's going on with this courthouse, y'all. All right, I'm getting like somebody is about to have a rude awakening in court here, all right? If they did something dirty to you or something, I'm getting like somebody cannot see visibly through the situation here. There's something sketchy going on. They have a lot of unwanted opinions here, but they're a liar and they're gonna get whatever they're gonna get during court. They're trying to force justice on you, but it's gonna flip on them. I just heard young thugs say, shut the fuck up. Also, if you're a single bachelor dealing with the one, I'm getting whoever this person is, they betrayed you here and whatever they have going on with court or any law abiding contracts or whatever or whatever's going on with their childhood or whatever they have going on, I'm getting like it's going to flip on them. Yeah, I'm getting like they betrayed you or whatever it is, but it's all seen from their childhood, what they seen as a child here, okay, or you or that vice versa. But all this person has a lot of PTSD from their childhood here. That's why they cheat or that's why they do the things they do. They're fucked up in the head, all right? They could be going to jail, have a court case, all right, or um, could be getting divorced from them. I'm getting like they have something going on with their job or some type of law abiding contract or agreement here. All right, but let's see what's going on with this mature man here. Whoever this mature man is, all right, I'm getting like the same way man who has the shit together, but he goes to extremes for attention, all right? But what does he want? Like, what's going on with this mature man here, spirit? He's avoiding you because he's dealing with the she devil or malicious or spiteful woman here. All right, I'm getting this person who wants to reach out to you if you're a man or female. All right, but whoever this person is, they also live the good life or they're used to living this. All right, if you're a stable woman who has a shit together, I'm getting like you're dealing with a woman who's insatiable or I'm getting like they're never satisfied, always wanting more. I'm getting like this mature man could be dealing with a female who he thought was stable and had their shit together and she always wants something or wants more or whatever. All right. Or oh, this could be you. But also, whoever this mature man is, let's see what's going on with this mature man. All right. For this mature man, I'm saying you're being emancipated from them. They have PTSD or they're very temperamental here, but they're trying to make a U-turn into you or you, them, all right? But I'm saying you're being emancipated from all their bullshit and shit that's going on here, all right? Yeah, liberated, all right? And also, I'm seeing you're looking about a change here. Are this person trying to change your luck here, all right? Or they're looking about a change dealing with a non-committal woman here, all right? But that's what's going on here. Take it how it resonates. But I see you're in transition here. And there's um, a shady ass female who's mad. I'm getting like, imagine leveling up here. All right. It's all your dangerous karmic ties. All right. Or the bitch can have them. Take it how it resonates. Man or female, flip it how you need to, babies. All right. But now we're going to go ahead and jump right into the news here. We're going to see the news on these situations here. And we're going to get up out of here. All right. Like this video, comment down below if it resonates for you. A like is free, a comment is free. All right, come and fuck with me. All right. If you want to tip your girls down below, but let's get right into this, y'all. All right. What is this? And also, I'm getting like whoever these people is who try to drain you sexually, physically, emotionally, their karma is coming. I'm getting like their karma's already came here. Yeah, or whoever this psycho is, all right, and whoever this person is who abused you or did the abusing or whatever, 
their time is coming. I'm getting like they're finna get their karma. Oh, this could be you if you did this. Take a high resume, okay? Alrighty, y'all. So let's go ahead and see what's going on, y'all. Let's get into the news here for y'all, Gemini's. the sudden wealth here the number 11 let's back it up and reverse it let's see what's going on with this sudden wealth here with the news what's the news with the sudden wealth here for gemini all right i'm getting like with this sudden wealth comes a copycat here or a new love affair or somebody's trying to create either the copycat here wants your wealth all right your sudden wealth and there's also somebody here who wants to create a new love affair with you or uh you could have they had a love affair with, with somebody else over you but this person wants your wealth too and also you could be having car problems at this time here somebody who has car problems all right they want your wealth for their they're um, putting blockages in your way to, to get through the sudden wealth or they could definitely be having this is because they're trying to block your sudden wealth here be careful of who you're around this could be any type of car issues all right big or small last card also there could be something going viral about somebody here who tried to block your sudden wealth here all right i'm um, getting like somebody's going to go viral or they're going to be caught all right and it's so funny um somebody here who had a, a bad name or tried to nickname him as a bad name here it's going to flip on them all right i just seen that and we have a song you said by quavo and young thug okay i love this song all right, so we have the number 34, you guys, all right? Let's see what's going on with this number 34, y'all, all right? Did you hear Young Thug? It says, you you said you were going to do me the worst. Do you remember you said that? People were saying, everything people said about you, I'm getting like it's being um, flipped back on them, and they don't know what to say here because they know it, Gemini, all right? Ew. Also, I'm getting like, um, somebody who, who you're working with here needs to go into a hospital visit. I'm getting like, whatever you're doing for work here, be careful because you could definitely go to the hospital or be getting hurt at work or hurt at the job here. Somebody around you is, all right? They could be trying to block your blessing or steal your sauce or whatever, okay? Also, there's somebody here who got their money stolen or jacked here. This person was trying to stop your success or stop you at work or whatever's going on here. They're going to have to pay for that, okay? I'm getting like, somebody could be trying to steal your money or steal your job or promotion or whatever you're working on here. Please be careful. And also, I'm getting somebody is still stalking you or stalking to see what you're doing, what you're up to to try to steal from you or take what you have or, you know, just to be nosy here. And also, somebody who had a weather disaster here, I'm getting like, either they want to work with you, you could have worked with them before. I'm getting like, things didn't work out. I'm getting, um, this could be a part of somebody's karma here. I'm getting like, I'm hearing nothing. Don't stop you rain or shine here. You could definitely have something to do with a weather disaster here. I'm getting like, that's not going to stop you. I'm getting like, it's going to catapult you if not. All right. Incorporate that into whatever you're working on, your energy. And also somebody who has a lot of mood swings here. I'm getting like, um, or you need to work on your mood swings here um, at your job or whatever you're working on here. All right. And I have the number nine card changes here. What type of changes is going on here? All right. For the Gemini. What changes going around the Gemini here? All right. All right, so I'm getting like somebody, the change is that somebody's needing help or they're calling for your help here. Another change is that um, whatever attack that somebody is sending towards you is not affecting you. This could be the person who's crying for help here because I'm getting like whatever they try to send towards you is not on them and they're looking crazy. Also, Gemini, this is going to be somebody here who's not really into you or this somebody here who's not really into a feminine here or masculine, but there are other persons in love with them. I'm getting like to change or this could be going on with you. All right. But somebody's gonna find that out. Also, I'm getting like somebody who went through it all with you. There's a change. You're gonna come back around here. I'm getting like they're dealing with somebody here. They're gonna come back around for you or vice versa. All right. Also, I have you minding your own fucking business here. That's gonna be a change. But oh, you need to mind your own fucking business at this current time and take care of yourself here. That's a change you need to be making here. Turn inward. All right. So you can be a privileged flaunter. Okay. Also, there's somebody here who you're gonna see some bullshit about. This person is still dating, keeping their options open here. So don't even trip. All right. Or I'm getting like you may need to sleep, can still date and keep your options open despite of what's going on around you. Just have fun. Okay. All right, so let's see what's going on with the number 23 card here. All right, let's see what's going on with that. So I'm seeing like, okay, somebody could definitely um hated you, but now I'm here and they have love for you. Or somebody who was a dog here, who was trying to dog you out in love or whatever. I'm getting like, they have a lot of shit going on here. All right, Gemini. And now they want you to come build them out or whatever, but I'm getting, it's a, it's a no, no. I'm getting, it's, it's not that, okay? I'm getting like, don't even help them. Don't fuck with them here. All right. Yeah, I'm getting like, you could still be holding on to this person or each other. I'm getting like, it's best to just let it go. This person's a dog here who's in love with you, but they're not changing. And it's funny, I just heard on TV, you said I won't change. Yeah, listen to this. Listen. It's a song right here. Yeah, somebody could nickname you trouble or uh, uh, try to act one way around you and be a different way. Yeah, but I'm not, now they got to eat that shit up here, okay? I'm getting like they could have definitely um tried to blame something on you and they got exposed here for somebody, all right? 
let's see what else we got going on here with this courthouse or with this crazy documents here proof all right agreements all right official business and official situations here let's see what's going on also i'm getting like somebody here who's happy with somebody else all right i'm getting like they're using children to manipulate this person or they're being manipulated by children here all right but whoever this person is about to either lose their shit or you're about to lose your shit somebody's about to have a mental breakdown here because they're having financial troubles here all right and they're, they're trying to create strife in your life i'm getting like also somebody could be like break up with him or her on board here it's gonna be somebody's side piece here i'm getting they're going through all this stuff because of this person or they will all right now they want you back in their face and it says just leave it's not working out all right but we have this mature man this number five card here let's see what's going on with this mature man all right Oh, this mature man, I'm getting like, this is your perfect match. It could be another mask in here if you are LGBTQ or you like them. All right, like I said, whoever's mature man, he could definitely be an LGBTQ on the low. But I'm getting shots fired straight to the heart. He either broke your heart, guy's heart broke here. I'm, I'm hearing whatever that's going on. That's what's going on here, Gemini. All right, let's see what else is going on here. See what's going on here, Gemini. Let's see what else is going on here, Geminis. Also, I'm getting like, what is this? There's a crazy ass bitch who's full of problems, but she has a lot of wild emotions for you here. Wild emotions for this mature man. Take it how it resonates here, all right? If you're a man out here, whatever. Or she's with this mature man. Yeah, and also, I'm getting like, there's somebody here who's doing the most here for this masculine, but they need to deep cleanse their energy. Or they need to deep cleanse because masks are not who they say they are. Or they're negative here. And also, Gemini, there's somebody here who's, who they find like you should be theirs and they should be yours. But I'm getting this person feel like it is what it is regarding you two. I'm getting like they tried to shit on you, but it didn't work or stun on you and it didn't work here. But they have beef with you or somebody they're dealing with has beef with you. All right, this person um won't pick up your phone calls or this could be you. All right, who won't pick up theirs. But I'm getting like they're threatening you to never leave them or you didn't want them to leave you or vice versa. But I'm getting something's going to be illuminated about the situation here and they're hiding their pain. All right, they're hiding how they really feel. It's also an unexpected love offer coming towards you guys. This could be the love offer here. But I don't know, there's a lot of hot drama going on in your life here. And somebody's going to be busting out receipts here somebody's hiding behind the count as well too and they made you believe a lot of illusion there's a confused man or woman who's um wasting your damn time who don't know what they want but i'm saying you see all this so you have the all-seeing eye here all right or stay protected all right you're gonna find love again but this is exactly what's going on here for you gemini's comment down below if it did resonate for you in any way shape or form all right yes 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 but i will see you guys later bye